Illinois trying to get back on the right track. Off we go from Champagne with the Illini controlling it in front of an orange out crowd at State Farm. Iowa, they, they are going to have to rebound the basketball. Illinois, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. That's been a struggle for the Hawkeyes at times. Can they shut down possessions? Yeah, two really good offenses going out of kind of mirror images defensively. Underperforming defenses, really good offenses. And Coleman Hawkins gets the day started. Well, that's something that he has done well. Coming off a tough game at Penn State, Coleman Hawkins. 14 of his last 31 from three. Nothing going on that possession, but the shot making on display. Well, this will be a good matchup today. Owen Freeman, one of the best freshmen in the country, gives up for a tricky mid-range hit. Boy, Illinois yeah. coming over, showing some help to Hawkins. Owen Freeman can really score in the post. He finds Cricky, and he drills the open jumper. Well, we expect a lot of scoring in this game. We've got the three trips in. Welcome to Champaign, Connor Onion with Robbie Hummel, Iowa and Illinois, two of the best offenses in the country. Gone four trips, four scores to get it started. <laughs> no surprise there. Both these teams can put the ball in the basket. And for Illinois, they're trying to find their defense after coming unglued the other night in State College. They yeah, lost that game with a 10-point lead in the final two and a half minutes damaged their chances at a regular season title, but they are playing high-level offense to start. Well, that's going to be a tough matchup there for Ben Tricky. Coleman Hawkins has already made a three. Now he drives. He's a multifaceted player. He can play on the perimeter and he won his opportunities. And they've got three quad one games here in their last four. Big time opportunities to make some noise and make a late run to play in the big dance. You can, can beat the people you're supposed to beat. And just think that their defense starting at halftime against Wisconsin and playing into Michigan State and East Lansing has been much better. Can they guard? Can they get stops against one of the better offenses in college basketball? They haven't gotten many stops to start but against the top five national offense in Illinois. They're working clock here down to 10 seconds. Hawkins. You could tell that, that was right the second it left his hand. Drifted, didn't it? The Hawkeyes do get their stop. Peyton Sanford is fouled. Hit, but, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, scoring without the three ball. It's not only a thing for Sanford, but without that's been, Iowa. Yeah, and, and going to be interesting today. Illinois loves that drop coverage, and you're kind of playing into the hands of a lot of these Iowa guards. Terrence Shannon stays red hot. It's a simple dribble drive, but you draw that defender. Yeah, has really scored it. It's done a lot of his damage in transition, but knocking down the jumper. Tony Perkins from that spot against Illinois last year destroyed the Illini. The last three games for Perkins against Illinois, he's shooting 62% from the field and 62% from three. But that's the drop coverage. That's what it's given up. And that's a real strength of Tony Perkins' game. And 32 against Illinois last year, mostly free throws and mid-range jumpers. So as expected, good offensive start. Two of the best offenses in the country. Hawkins off balance hits that. I, I love Coleman Hawkins' mentality here early. Make Ben Cricky guard you. Put it on the floor and put pressure on a guy that's not used to guarding more. Now that game ended. Well, and this is one of those deals where it, it's a long season. You, know, you can't get back what happened, so you've got to move on. Brown would we'll talk about Thursday's practice being an Underwood-like practice. Uh, to be a fly on the wall of that. But, yeah, you, you got to just keep playing and... They gotta fix some of these defensive mistakes that, that we've seen. The switches, the communication, that's just been not good enough. Uh, some of those Brad Underwood practice principles for stopping this guy. And they finally do get a stop on Perkins in the middle range. That's not a great shot by Tony Perkins. And then no numbers and a pass from Hawkins is out of bounds. Coming off a win against Michigan State a week ago today, beating Wisconsin for what at the time was their first quad one win. They now have three Minnesota inside the top 75 now. It's up their resume. It's out off of Iowa going back to the Illini. 
Hawkins poles and knocks in another. They, they are really looking to put Ben Cricky in as many actions and dribble drives as they can. And it's a four on five ball screen, and you can just see with Cricky, he's trying to play off to protect on the drive, and there Coleman Hawkins steps back and drills the three. Hawkins already with 10 points. Than he had in the entire game against Penn State in the middle of the week. Great matchup right here. Shannon against Perkins. Like to see a lot of that today. Back to it. Two on the shot clock. And Perkins, the contested shot against Shannon. Boy, that, that's back to back plays where Terrence Shannon has warred over the top of those ball screens way better than what we saw against Penn State. Let's see if they go back to this matchup. They do. Hawkins gave it up. And Garrier slips off there, but followed up. Garrier skips it off the rim. Third chance, blocks, and Danger loses it to Tricky. What a block by Owen Freeman. He's one of the better rim protectors as a freshman in college basketball, and what looks like should be a surefire bucket ends up being a transition look for Iowa. Patrick McCaffrey, 14 points the other day against Michigan State. He's closing in on 1,000 in his career. Owen Freeman is definitely going to be the, the Big Ten freshman of the year. Though. And you just look at the, the number that he's put up, the consistency. He's been in foul trouble the last couple games, and 12 fouls over the last three, but his impact this season for Fran McCaffrey has been phenomenal. He's the casual nine freshman of the week, of course. <laughs> I was amazed that Jared Sollinger had 12. I mean, I know Jared was really, really good, but that's a huge number. Barely that many weeks in the season. <laughs> exactly. There is Freeman with the tap back. Well, he's just, for being a freshman, he is so physical. Dane Danger's right there. You've got to push him under the rim. Instead, it's Owen Freeman, who battled foul trouble, like I said, and he's Lansing. And you can see through the first seven minutes of this ball game, having a big impact on both ends. The guy that grew up in this state took an Illinois visit. Owen Freeman, after his make, Gary A. misses. Yeah, Hart got stopped the ball. And Tony Perkins, that's, they're getting all the way down there. Now, the contest was okay, but someone's got to pick him up. The mask, little hesitation, and McCaffrey slots that into the front row. How's that change now with Tricky out Dembele? I think probably Dembele is, well, Dembele's got to actually guard him. He's lucky it didn't go up right there. I think Dembele's probably better equipped to, to guard him on the perimeter, but certainly you're going to lose out on some of the offense that Tricky brings. Hawkins still attacking, even with Tricky going out. Down to five on the shot clock. Goody for three. And Perkins lets that slide out of bounds. Four points, three rebounds, two offensive boards. Danger played really well against these guys last year. I was certainly not the biggest team in the league, so looking to exploit some of that size on the interior. But Dix loves the mid range. Yes, he does. And, and you look at his numbers over the last five, 61% from two. Much like Peyton Sanford, hasn't shot it as well from three. But that mid range for some of these Iowa guards is their bread and butter. They're a little anti-analytical <laughs> with, with how they go against. That's very true. The Big Ten defenses. Shannon, oh man, everything but down. I was going a little bit of zone there and lost Terrence Shannon on the perimeter. And Perkins head down, falling away. That is an impossible angle. But it's the physicality. He gets to the body of Luke Goody, and then you said the fadeaway. He, he just creates space. Tony Perkins has made himself into a real player in this league. Well, Luke Goody from out deep for Illinois. You like tempo. This is the game for you. There's going to be buckets scored. There are baskets to be had. That's, that's seen on both ends early. There's Sanford and Rogers who tapped that yeah, and kept it in by, by Ty Rogers to keep that in play. Hawkins on fire to begin. On Rogers tramples Sanford who's laughing about that. way you want to end the ball game but, but the mature response here is to come back and get it going early and that's exactly what we've seen from Coleman. 
It'll be a question of who can get some stops today. Not <laughs> many so far as Dix is. How about the physicality there of Josh Dix? I mean, Ty Rogers is a very good on-ball defender. He just keeps him right there on his hip, gets some separation, and there's the mid-range jumper again. Iowa's got to be better in, in their zone. I just don't feel like it's been nearly as effective as what we saw when they switched over to 2-3 in East Lansing on Tuesday. And they've mixed and matched some defensively, trying to find the right fit to get some stops. They've worked some late clock here, and Rodgers at the end of it. And it's finished by Dembele, but tied up. Is that the biggest disadvantage today for Iowa? The glass? Yeah, I, I think the glass, and then certainly just containing your man, guarding one-on-one, -on -one because he's got cannon, he's got the mass, and be an offensive foul, but tough for the freshman there. He's just trying to set a screen, and guard leaves really early. With Bryce Sanford in, pointing out, and talking through that zone as it goes into Hansberry. Working in on Freeman. And the left wooden stick, Gary A, offensive rebound. Quick hands, hands Perkins. Perkins. Tony Perkins. You look at his numbers in December and January, six double-doubles, he's averaging 12 and nine, and those numbers are way down. And for Gary A in January, it was a double-double pretty much he every was. night. No, it was amazing to see the way he pursued the basketball. Perkins from range. Book that. That's just Illinois getting lost in that screening action. You're playing inside out. Owen Freeman's going to command a ton of attention. You've got to lock in. We've heard Brad Underwood talk about being assignment sound, and they get totally lost right there on that possession. The mask short. Gary flying in there. That's what he was doing back in, in December and January, where he was coming all the way from the perimeter. That's a good sign for Illinois to see him active on the glass early in this game. And now can they sit down? McCaffrey into the body and Hansberry puts up a wall. Increased minutes, increased help for Hansberry, and they reward him with two. Hansberry on the contest, and it's five on four basketball. Right on the floor, and Illinois guards finding him. Step back. Perkins almost. And whisked out of there. This is a great stretch for Hansberry. I thought he gave good minutes in State College. I mean, this is how you earn your coach's trust. And they got Gary going now. Got to find a way to get some stops. Scoring at a high level. Yeah, again. and transition defense is going to be so big for both these teams. But containing the bounce as well. We talked about the glass plenty. It's going to be a challenge because Illinois is one of the best offensive teams in not just this league, but in all of college basketball. Nice cut. Perkins at the rim. Yeah, that's not going to make Brad Underwood happy. The back cuts we saw against Penn State that just give up easy ones. Great cut by Tony Perkins. And this Iowa team is a very good cutting team off the ball. Well, Brad Underwood, when we visited with him before the game. Yes, there's Gary A. This is the Quincy Garrier that we saw earlier in the season, and it's just, I, I don't know if I understand where he went, because it seems like the things that he does outside of his shooting are, are a lot of just effort and making himself available off the ball. Maybe seeing him waking up again today. Here's Freeman, gives it up, Ricky underneath. Beautiful, Ben Cricky. Yeah, good cutting again, and well done by Ben Cricky, understanding that Coleman Hawkins is, is looming to put that on the board. Use that strong left hand and go reverse to the other side. Iowa is shooting 63%. Illinois at 50% in this first half. Hawkins has 13 of them for Illinois. Pass deflected. Freeman away with it. When there's the adjustment, Peyton Sanford now guarding Coleman Hawkins, and you've got Cricky guarding Gary A. Cricky, little pop, heavy on it, and there's a rare foul. And make that passer think you might be there. That doesn't happen if Hawkins no, hasn't hit three it, threes. Well, and, and I just I think the scouting report as well. You know, that, that's where that really comes into play. Peyton Sanford's thinking, man, Hawkins is is shooting 40 plus percent from three in conference play. But that's a 100% shot at the rim. And so Hawkins influencing the action down on this end in this first half. Rodgers on the take, had Freeman, and thuds it long. Just everything but the finish. That's one where Ty Rodgers, you'd be better off going glass. And Freeman showing his handle a little bit. 
Perkins already with double digits, 11 points after his career high 32 against the Illini last year. Dix to that sweet spot, rarely misses those. Cricky with the putback. Well, how about the fact that Fran McCaffrey challenged Ben Cricky to rebound better prior to that Michigan State game? He goes and gets 14 of them, four on the offensive glass, and they're just flying in, no blockout. Both these teams, man, a lot, a lot of action here and a lot of offense. Robbie, it is a smash bodies. Yeah. That's, that's what he said. Some, some toughness. That was not that, though. <laughs> no, it was not. I'm sure the uh, the old rebounding drills were out and about on, on Thursday. Dembele from outside. And that rolls down. Feathery from deep. Well, he can make them. That's his seventh made three of the year. And if you're just going to disrespect him and leave him there, Laji Dembele will take shots from the perimeter. He's working on Harding out for Shannon. Oh, way off. And danger. He can't complete it, but a one-armed rebound for Rodgers. Is 6'5 and up? I mean, Goody's 6'7, Damask is 6'6. Six, six. They said, are huge out there. They got an offensive foul. Hawkins pushes off on that. Oh, the problem is that, that that is his second foul. So Hawkins to the bench. Good chase by Terrence Shannon right there. It looked like Peyton Sanford had some space coming off the screen, and Shannon shut it down. The lead on ball defender. Yeah, he is. And I, I thought it got away from a, a little bit off the basketball at State College. An upgrade for what you call an NBA playoff. Yeah, well, and, and Jeffrey Anderson just came over and said that the contact to the head is excessive. So that, that's what we've seen pretty much all year long. And that's going to be the call. Certainly voiced my frustrations with the rule where it's like if it's a basketball play, should it be a flagrant one? I, I think it should be looked at in the offseason, but it, this is where we're at. And March 15th on Big Ten Network in the Fox Sports app. Got a little extra excited for March. <laughs> Wanted it to come early. And this is a 12-4 run for Iowa after Illinois took their biggest lead. Iowa out. Try three points ahead of the under four timeout. There's Dix getting to that Boy, spot in this I first mean, half. We have just seen it time and time again. And Josh Dix is a mid-range assassin. He's coming off these screens. He's getting to his spot. He's physical off the bounce. And he's just raising up. And he's hit three of those in this first half. Close out from Harding. Sanford checking to Bass. Tough look and a late foul. Jeffrey Anderson. The mask go the way of Illinois, and you have to think Hansberry and Gary are both going to be looking to get in there. Is that how good these offenses are? Even when you have good position, they're still going to beat you? No, I mean, I, I think that you look at the way these two teams have played. Iowa's as hot as anybody. Illinois has proven to be one of the better offensive teams nationally. And there, there's going to be some shots made because of the level of skill and players on the floor. I think even if you explain that right to Patrick McCaffrey, he'd still be saying, eh. <laughs> yeah, he would. I don't think he would agree. He was looking over at the bench and the refs for a little while. I like the adjustment of Cricky guarding Garrier opposed to Hawkins. I know Hawkins isn't on the floor, but that, that's a guy that he can better contain. Second three in this game for Terrence Shannon. He is playing at such a high level. Last four games, averaging 30 a game. All-American level stuff for the reigning All-American. Clock dripping for Iowa. Dix way out wide. Dembele took a shot. Down to four. Step back Dix. In and out. And Hansberry there with the box up. Get going, right? I, <laughs> that's that's uh, in Tony Perkins and Iowa's defense best interest to Put a lid on that. But it is. No, you're, you're just. He has more free throw attempts the last two games than Justin Harmon on the season. Yeah, that, that's insane. Final two minutes. So there's fast paced first half. 
Cricky filling the lane, scooping Boy. it up and in. How about the adjustment, though, midair by Ben Cricky? That's, that's a great pass from Tony Perkins. Draw two in the ball screen, drop it back, but, but Cricky, with that agility, able to find it with that strong left hand. Hansberry slingshots it heavy. Good block out there by Ben Cricky. Oh, he drove Garrier into the hardwood. Those two late joining the play. And McCaffrey airballs it. And Hansberry with the save. Harmon leading the break. Gary oh! upstairs! That Luke Goody look alike did it just the same. <laughs> and both teams shooting over 50% from the field. You look at what he's been averaging over the last four. Three of the four in single digits. Just under seven points a game. And really his minutes have been slashed in a big way. Only averaging 17 minutes a game in those four. Played four minutes against Penn State in yeah. the second half. Illinois with a three-point lead. Iowa trying to cut in before the half. With Freeman. Look at the way he moved hands very good help though from Gary a coming over. And that stop for Illinois and taking some time off the clock eliminates the two for one possibility for Iowa. And there's a two second differential game and shot clock here. Shannon with six. Slipped, lost the ball. Gary looks at the clock. Down to two. Deep three. And way off, but followed oh, up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's shot on the One last heave coming likely for Iowa. McCaffrey. Oh, throws yeah. it over the top. Sanford. Oh! That was unbelievable by Iowa right there. Number two underway from Champaign. Iowa is looking for their third straight quad one win. Sitting as the last four team out right now in Mike DeCorsi's bracket. They start with the ball in the second half. And Freeman is fouled. Give Iowa a lead. If he makes his second. Since Jess settles back in the 90s. Was those good teams with Dr. Tom Davis as the head coach. Freeman trying to be the first since Jess. Here's Gary A for three. Slides off Rodgers, an offensive rebound. Shannon three. Not here. Gary A. Block out by yeah. Sanford right there. And there, there's two more looks from three. That they're open looks for Illinois, but clearly Iowa trying to keep that ball out of the paint. Well, Sanford didn't have many clean looks from outside. This is a tough two. That's exactly what Illinois wants you to shoot. I think that's what Iowa wants to shoot, too. I know what the analytics say, but this is a very good mid-range team. 0 for 3 start for Illinois from outside. Oh, well, look up the floor. Now they run. Sanford set it up. Shannon recovered on it. That little second where Tony Perkins had to wait on it just cost him. That will not make Brad Underwood happy after some of the under out-of-bounds issues that we saw earlier in the week. So he kind of uncomfortably Went to the belt, retucked yeah, his shirt, and he uh, wanted, wanted to say something. That, that looked very similar. Dix circling around to score it. And Iowa up two in the opening minutes of the second half. Illinois can't find it from three out of the locker room. And Perkins oh, what waited, take. missed it. And Freeman skying up there. Can't put that back. Third chance. So five new bodies for the Illini. Including Danger. And that's where Freeman can do some damage on Danger. He's got a handle and can certainly take him on the perimeter and drive it. The bench is the best yeah. teacher. Yeah, that's, that's uh, in use currently. Well, the other guys on the floor have already seen the floor today. Moretti's the only one that's fully new into this game. He's going to handle some pressure here. I, I like the look from Iowa. Moretti hasn't played. He's a young player. Take his temperature with, with some of this pressure. Oh, they missed Luke Goody. 
Iowa in that scramble across half court. They, they totally left him over there on the right side. Moretti pulled off the bench. First trip on offense. Gives it to Harmon. Nice setup. Nice little back cut there by Justin Harmon, who's coming off a tough game at Penn State himself, but making a play off the ball, and Nico Moretti finding him. And Perkins draws the foul on Moretti. And a 24-7 channel for your favorite school. And it starts at $9.95 a month. There's no plus like home. So five new Illini sitting all of their starters. And Perkins, oh boy, cashing in. Yeah, nervy pass there. Leaps to a dunk. It, it ends up working out. But Justin Harmon left his feet to pass. They just throw it up, and it works out for Illinois. Perkins into the body of Harmon. Tough look, Danger snatches that. And there's Moretti speeding in and draws the foul on Dix. Has he been, been playing two on two? You know, how, how do you stay in game shape for when your number is called? And that's going to be the ultimate test for him here today. And he's looking inside. Ball buzzing. Goody. There's still nothing from out there for Illinois in this half. And Freeman does finally secure it. Illinois has taken seven shots, and five of them have been from the perimeter here to start the second half. Sanford has size on Moretti. Can't make him pay. Got a good look there. And 0 for 5. No threes have gone in this half either way. Iowa hasn't even taken one. There's Moretti off a little stutter. Well, threw it at the back of Dix, got it back. And Moretti just playing wall ball oh, off of play Hawkeyes. By Tony Perkins. Perkins there. What are you thinking? How long is it going to be? I, I, it'll be determined by the way that this second group plays. But you have to think if Iowa starts pulling away, we'll see those starters back on the floor. I, I've been so impressed with Josh Dix here this afternoon. You know, he's playing some point alongside Perkins and the shot clock. He's played with poise. And he has just been a killer with that jumper. And Danger with a nice spin. He can score down there. I, I know we haven't seen it a lot. Last year, certainly he showed off the scoring touch. And there's no doubt that he can get buckets. Long, Freeman, goody the rebound. I feel like for, for Owen Freeman, that's a bit of a settle. I, I'd love to see him drive Danger. Hansberry on the tape. Back in Cricky in. That looked like the same move Danger just made. Good contest, though. Cricky going vertical and making Hansberry score over the top. And Freeman's in deep position there. Perkins couldn't find him. And Iowa works it back out. And Iowa still has not taken a three in the second half. Freeman in a crowd. Muscles his way in. Like, he, he's not a guy that you're looking at. And you're like, man, he, he must bench press. And Freeman's going to cut that clip, come back 20 pounds heavier <laughs> next season. Move people. Can't wait for sophomore year Owen Freeman, LeBron James side-by-side -side <laughs> comparisons. A good hand there by Peyton Sanford. It totally made up for that Tony Perkins gamble. And the Hawkeyes by four. They trail by one at the break. After McCaffrey's heave. We've got the wholesale subs coming back. And tapped out. Second group might want to stay in here for the Illini. All the starters at the table ready to check in. And Harmon flails his way to the free throw line. And 15 points today for Perkins. That's what's sitting on the bench for Iowa. And that's been the matchup a lot of the day. The guy that just came in, Shannon against Perkins. Well, now Shannon moves over to Josh Dix, and you wonder how will Dix handle more of the physicality that Terrence Shannon is going to put on the basketball. And Shannon's not going to let him touch it. Harding off the ball screen, created some space, wow. and hit it. I thought he could have hit Cricky there, but a confident stroke. Brock Harding gave massive minutes against Wisconsin, and... That's a big play with Tony Perkins saddled with his third foul. And Perkins was benched in that first half against Wisconsin. And you're right, Harding with great enthusiasm. Nice what block, block Ricky. Twice. Sanford was right on there lobbying for Iowa. Inside five on the shot clock. 
Hawkins got to go. And he's bailed out and hits it. Brandon McCaffrey saying not a chance. Well, it's not like Crickett was going to come down on top of Hawkins there. Like, like Hawkins really initiated that contact. Harding on the cross, went to the off. Sanford falling away, and he got fouled. Well, media timeout, maybe towards the 10 minute mark. That all just depends on the way that Fran McCaffrey feels. How, how does Perkins play under these types of foul situations? Sanford with the rebound. That's Shannon's first look at it too tonight. Oh, I thought Sanford definitely drug his foot there. Wow. Oh, buries a three. Josh Dix. But the transition defense by Illinois just not matching up a bit of an initial surge. And Josh Dix is, is all by himself there at top of the key. Hawkins attacks Harding. And he got bumped again. Flowing right into that three. You know, Illinois trying to get right after I'm sure they feel that they gave that one away in State College. And, and Iowa's playing for their NCAA tournament lives. And all of a sudden, this is a Hawkeye team that I don't think anybody in the league wants to see. A week ago, postseason NCAA tournament was in doubt. Look at the way Shannon is just blowing up those ball screens. Now this action away from Shannon is checking Dix off balance and one. A big bucket there. The best thing to ever come out of Valparaiso, Indiana. <laughs> the pride of Valpo, yes. An amazing basketball town, they say. Full of young mop boys named Robbie Hummel. Yeah, of course. And after the tough hit for Cricky, seven point hold for the Illini. Good high low there. Yeah, yeah, danger. Great, great awareness. You have to stay ready. Well, Shannon had the offensive rebound. We have seen this so many times today for Iowa where they just have not blocked out on the free throw. And Illinois assistant Chester Frazier was up, bouncing up and down, trying to get this crowd involved. Side 10 on the shot clock for Dix. Broke wow. three of Shannon. Wow. Boy, he, you embrace that physicality that Shannon's going to bring. You flip it on him. He, he wheels and deals down there by the block. And Josh Dix has had the response late clock all afternoon long for Iowa. Dix grew up kind of in that middle ground Quad Cities area between Illinois and Iowa. Grew up watching Big Ten basketball. Big game today, and Moretti, some unexpected points. That's Nico Moretti's first three attempt of the year. McCaffrey can't answer. Sanford, volleyball, it's Illinois ball. We'll do a timeout at the next dead ball here. Reddy's feeling good after that make. And he draws the foul on Tricky. And Perkins back in with the three. Sat for several minutes. And Danger. Yeah, Jeffrey they're, Anderson they're says that's foul, on the floor. I, I think that's the right call. Before the shot. It's going to be, that's the seventh foul, so this is a one and one. Danger, not a good foul shooter. But this is where all four Hawkeyes have to be on the free throw lane line here, talking about checking out who's pinching, who's got the shooter. They've given up way too much in these types of situations. And it is a miss, Shannon. Shannon. Again, man. Almost now, from, I was got numbers here. Almost from the opposite side. McCaffrey, that's a tough shot. Yeah, you, you feel like he could have maybe forced the issue and Euro stepped around Moretti, but he jump stopped and instead took a tough one. And by the way, Sanford picked up his third foul that last trip down. So foul trouble mounting. Danger going to Man, the basket. That's a great move, but just not the finish. Perkins leaves it. Sanford. Man, Peyton Sanford has just not found the range here. He's had a little bit of an off afternoon. That was a great look. Shannon in the air a long time. Setting up the three. That's a pro pass right there. Oh, 
There was a foul on that block. And McCaffrey puts Iowa back in front. Moretti had not made a three before today. He's made two in the second half. Good hand, Sanford, and saves it. Three on two for Iowa. And Perkins has two at the free throw line. There's Moretti leaving his feet. He's jumping straight up. I don't know what else you can ask him to do there. It's kind of similar to that Hansberry play yeah. that went uncalled it's, in the first half. It's totally the same play. And there was a play in the first half that went uncalled. Romani Hansberry and, and right clean defense. defense called. I mean, it was it was good defense by Hansberry. I thought that was good defense by Moretti. Yeah, that was part of our conversation at halftime. A couple people came over and said, kind of liked that no call. Yeah. Oh, I thought, yeah, Coleman had Dane Danger. Now he's, he's got you down there, but man, he's just not been able to finish. Well, Iowa has stayed in touch rebounding wise. One of their big disadvantages in this game. They like this matchup here. Size for Sanford on Moretti. Danger came to help and has the rebound. Numbers back for the Hawkeyes. Shot fake Hawkins. Extra pass. Moretti a hot shooter inside this time. A little heavy. Oh, nice pass for Sanford to keep it alive. Perkins swallowed up by Danger. Here's Harmon filling the lane and to the free throw line. Well, eight overtime games, by the way, to finish that point. Eight overtime games in the Big Ten. Illinois played in a couple of them. Iowa played in one last Saturday. 8.20 from the finish line. And a rebound for Harmon. I thought Dixie just went right up with it, kind of paused to, to let Moretti go by, but I thought that took him out of rhythm. Illinois can grab the lead back before the under eight timeout. Hawkins started this game red hot. Ready run off. Eight in the clock. Hawkins. No, Harmon. Whoa. He's fouled on the put back jam attempt. on pace for 95-94 early in this game. Where do you think we're ending up? I would think that first one to 84-85 wins the game. The offense is really humming. Well, look at the way the he game. moved Hawkins there, but just blew the layup. Great move again. We've seen it from Danger, now from Freeman. That's a point-blank look. Hawkins is foul. Four in this game. Shooting from the field. Really talk about for him today has been the five turnovers, so. Got 10 turnovers the last two games now. And both season highs. There's Sanford off the window. There's that drop coverage again. And Peyton Sanford, another one of these Iowa guards that's very comfortable with the mid-range. He goes to the floater and beautifully lays it off the glass. Critical game for Iowa. Quad one opportunity. On the bubble, outside looking in right now. Iowa in their zone look has just lived in rotation. And Moretti, he's a two-point deficit with, with seven. Villanova, Butler. A win today, Iowa would have as many quad one wins as any team in that group. And Sanford and Cricky both with four fouls for Iowa. They are running Sanford all over the place off these screens. Pretty good job by Damas there of staying right there with him. Deep into the clock. McCaffrey trying to break free. Has to give it up. Five to shoot. Got to get going here. Can they get a clean look? Dix. Offensive rebound, Perkins. So we have come to a grinding halt. Perfect seven to seven. Turn seven of eight for Perkins at the free throw line today. What about these minutes for Moretti? 
No, he, he has given great minutes for Brad Underwood. But I've heard Brad Underwood talk about how he's a guy that can help us. And even though we haven't seen it on the floor, it's, it's certainly been apparent in practice. In danger to that spin. He's just like gotten whatever he wanted, but it's a lid on that thing for Dane Danger. Tricky. And that was on the backboard coming back down. We are tied. Trying to manage this foul situation. Sanford and Cricky both with four fouls. The mask wide open. That was a horse shot. <laughs> I don't know what Iowa they're, they're in that zone. And it's just one pass and a wide open shot for a guy that's shooting 35% from three in Big Ten play. Perkins right back inside. And that's Iowa ball. Grab the ball, says Brad Underwood. I thought that hit off Owen Freeman's hand. And 529, so it can't be reviewed. Well, Hawkins whisks it right back. Good pass. Shannon for Harmon. And selfish play right there by Terrence Shannon. <laughs> Iowa, as potent of an offense as anyone you'll see, can the Illini defense get stopped? Well, Iowa has two guys on the floor with four fouls, including Sanford. And high off window, Tricky, the other guy with four fouls, cleans that up. You know, I, I don't love Coleman Hawkins coming over and selling out for that block. It's a well-contested layup, and now your floor balance on the blockout is just not there. And Illinois has devastated teams with the rebounding a lot of this season. Big second chance there for the Hawkeyes. Fourth quarter and a whistle. We've got a kick ball on Sanford. And we're led by the 20 points of Hawkins. Clock dripping. Shannon oh, slicing through. Oh, goodness. I mean, he just blows right by Ben Fricky. The help, it was such a fast drive, the help couldn't even get there. Speed and power all day long. Terrence Shannon. One of the under four timeout. Five point game. Freeman trouble with it. And it's out with Iowa. They're around his knees, but certainly this is not one of Owen Freeman's better games. It would have been a three for Sanford. Good rebound by Cricky. Offensive rebound stacking up for Cricky last couple minutes. That ball timeout. Perkins off balance and Hawkins up to help and get the steal. He wanted a timeout and he did get it. Well, foot stomping, getting the crowd <laughs> engaged. He certainly is one of those coaches that can appreciate a, a solid defensive effort. Illinois wanted to get their edge and anger back today on the defensive ends. Hawkins with a steal and a timeout. Send us to that break. Hawkins the top scorer for Illinois today. Giving it up. Shannon. Harmon the follow slipped to Hawkins in the roll hall. Going out of bodies and you've got to check out. And whether it was Harmon or Hawkins there, both those guys on the offensive glass. Big possession to stay in touch, and Iowa turns it over. Hawkins up top. Oh, no. Tough look for Dix. Hawkins with a steal, a timeout, a chest bump, and now a career high. With 24 points. Here's Shannon. Ooh, Hawkins wants some more. And a whistle. They, they ratchet it up, they've contested shots, they've got turnovers, and Iowa, oh, they're fortunate on that free throw. That's done another offensive rebound. Into Freeman for the dunk. The problem, though, is that because Shannon goes down, it's so close to being a great play, but now five on four, and the Hawkeyes take advantage. Ready through the pressure. 
Again, did not play in the first half. Moretti with a couple big threes. Part of why Illinois leads this game. Remember the big lead at Penn State. They led by 10. Illinois did with two and a half to go. Trying to avoid that today with Harmon inside. That was an elite pass from Hawkins against the grain, and he found Harmon with two on the shot clock there. Back door, Sanford. Ooh, he had yeah. dealt with some adversity with the foul trouble in the first half, and he's been the best player on the floor here today. He came out with 13 quick points, up to 25. Career high. And Freeman almost got there. Hawkins with the strong hands. And a quick touch. Two if more points. You're going to take it. You better make it. Looks like the Luke Goody three against Penn State, but Hawkins able to capitalize, and if you wonder, it might be the uh, the final nail here. And Iowa just one three in the second half. That's a tough two. And Moretti has it secured by Hawkins and a foul. See, that's that's disappointing. They're just going to sit down when when your your guy's shooting. Matthew Meyer last year at Northwestern did like a little salsa step. <laughs> he, he may have. He no, nothing, nothing would be a surprise there. He did like right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> salsa, salsa, salsa. <laughs> yeah. One minute. Final One minute. minute Illinois trying to run away with it. There's Dix inside. And how they handle pressure will be part of this. And how deep they do go in March. And Moretti on the floor for big minutes in the second half. Oh, yes. Our producer, Bart Fox, put it well. They would lose at Simon Says. <laughs> Harding grinding inside Dembele. Deep two goes down. I like Iowa's young players. They, they have some guys that the freshmen and sophomores, this is an incredibly that's What is that? Mm. The mask through the deep ball. McCaffrey intercepts it. And then that door still slightly open, but that won't help for Iowa. Hawkins rips it away and a foul in the backcourt. Now it's not. Adds to his career high with 30 big ones for Coleman Hawkins. Illinois by 10. Harding into a double team. Out for a three. Swirls out, rebound Shannon. Bryce Sanford looking over and Fran McCaffrey says no foul. Bounce back in a big way for the Fighting Illini. And their 1,000th Big Ten win as a program. 95-85 over Iowa.